Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, my name is Aita Syaira Putri. You can call me Anita. I'm from 5th class. Today, I want to present about one of Indonesia heroes named Raden Ajeng Kartini or often called as R.A. Kartini. Before we go any further, first, let's recite the spiritual foundation for our topic today. Yarfa'illahu ladina amanu minkum walladina utul ilma zaroja Wallahu ima ta'maluna khabir Allah will raise those who have believed among you And those who are given knowledge by the grace And Allah is acquainted with what you do Al-Mujadillah verse 11 In plain question about that first is that Allah raised the degree of a person who has given knowledge So let's raise the knowledge so that Allah can raise our degree And now let's talk about the biography of R.A. Kartini. R.A. Kartini was born with the name of Raden Ajeng Kartini Stojo Adiningrat. She was born in 21st April 1879 in Jepara. Unfortunately, she died in such young age. She died at 17 September 1904 in Rembang. She is the daughter of Raden Mas Adipati Aryo Sosoningrat and M. A. Ngasiro. After we talk about our biography, now let's talk about some facts of R.A. Kartini that maybe you didn't know yet. First, Kartini was born into a noble family. She is the fifth child of 11 siblings and half siblings. She is also the eldest sister of her biological siblings. Second, she has a supportive husband named Kar M. Adipati Arya Singhi Jojo Adiningrat. She got married at the age of 24 and got blessed with one son named Susalit Jojo Adiningrat. Three, establishing an all-girl school. In colonial era, women couldn't go to school, so Kartini made an all-girl school in 1912. Now, let's talk about Kartini's struggle for women in colonial era. First, gender equality. Gender equality is an equal condition between women and men in rights and quality of life. Second, emancipation of women. Give the right that is deserved by women. Back in the colonial era, women can go to school. So, Kartini teach them instead. She teaches them how to read, write, and many other things. She also establishing an August course so that women can learn and have the same right as men, so that men and women are same thing, are equal. After darkness comes light. Finally, after all her struggle, women can go to school and learn in school. And we also have Kartini dates on 21st of April. We celebrate her ever by holding a parrot and wearing traditional clothes. We also sing a song based on her, which is Ibu Kita Kartini song. The benefits of celebrating Kartini's days is one, getting an equal education, two, to respect women, three, so that women are no longer underestimated, and to remembering the evil of Era Kartini and her struggle. And that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys learned new thing from my presentation today. And that's all from me. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye.